All right, um, in 10 seconds, I've got a window of opportunity available. I'm going to bring in Brian Kilmeade, host of the Brian Kilmeade radio show. And I'm going to talk about this new ad, this uh, Gillette ad, which goes against what they call toxic masculinity. I think, uh, Brian, you with me now? Can you hear me? I can hear you very well. You know what I'm talking about here. This is a new ad. It's from Gillette, the razor people, going after this um, toxic masculinity and trying to reverse that whole trend in our culture. You think that's a good move for Gillette? Well, I mean, I saw the 60-second spot and the 30-second spot. I don't get it. Uh, for me, for in particular, yeah, men act badly sometimes, and they don't other times. But why are you going to scold the people that are going to buy you a way too expensive razor that's some, for some reason locked behind that protective glass at stores, and you got to ask a guy with a lot of keys to open up? I don't understand why i got to be berated and uh, because I happen to be a man. Now, there's a man. Uh, th this thing is men usually buy razors, these, these male razors. So for the most part... I'm wondering, there are men that behave badly, but it seems as though this ad is skewed towards women who think men behave badly. I don't know. Does the stat show that women buy the Gillette razors? Because if you want a man to uh, buy a Gillette razor, don't give me 12 different illustrations of bad male behavior. It's an interesting concept, though, isn't it? You, you come right out, you jump right into a cultural and political issue. You take a side, you go public with it, and as you say, Brian... You're going after, some, to some degree, the people who buy that product. I'm not sure this is a, a workable ad, but they've done it. But what do you think about the idea of toxic masculinity? This, the, the bullying, the dominance. I mean, that is a feature of being a man, and men do behave badly and boorishly like that on occasion. But this ad seems to me to lump all men together as if they're all bad behavior kind of people. My sense is this. Yeah, men do behave badly, women behave badly, and there's things that could be done. You want to raise a young man to be a gentleman as they get up? They'd be tough when you have to have a seal in their spine, but treat women with great respect. And bullying will never be tolerated at any age. But if you want two brothers, which is depicted in the ad, or two kids rolling on the ground wrestling, if you don't want them wrestling, then don't have boys. Because for the most part, they will wrestle. At times, uh, they'll get each other, they'll, they'll, they'll show an aggression. That's just the way men are made up to be. The other thing to do is, if you could do me a favor, if Gillette really wants men to act differently, get a PBS documentary. This could be brought to you by Gillette or sponsor Charlie Rose's show if he ever gets out of uh, Siberia, wherever he is. Uh, don't go ahead and make your ad a way to tell me how to behave badly. You make razors. I don't need life lessons from you. Number Number two is, I could be wrong in that I thought the Nike ad would boomerang on Nike when they told me basically I should go, go look up to Colin Kaepernick for taking a knee as a backup quarterback in the 49ers, and the Nike stock went up. Yep. So I'll be perfectly willing to say Madison Avenue knows more than me, and they got the best ad agencies because Gillette's loaded, but I will say my first blush is, well done, don't enjoy the message, I'll buy a different razor. <laughs> That's good. Very good. I think you summed it up very nicely there, Brian. Well done indeed. We don't man. know how you feel, Stuart. No, I'm not going to tell you either. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm, I'm up against a hard break. You know how that is. <laughs> I have no idea. I just go through them. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Brian, talk again thanks, soon. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you, Appreciate sir. Appreciate it. And thanks for sharing our audiences. <laughs>